Riker. What is this? Ah, there's no way, brother. There's no way, man. They're sending over the major crimes SOPs in text, brother. Oh my god. The entire SOP document he texted him. Oh my god. Undercover operations. There's a whole thing. Undercover operations, investigations, and missions are inherently dangerous. <laughs> the use of a swarm. Dude, there's a whole thing. It's the whole thing on the undercover operations. Why would he text? Oh my god, dude. It's the whole thing, brother. <laughs> oh, no way, right? <laughs> no way, Riker texted this, brother. Oh my god. Okay, unmarked guidelines. Detectives only use unmarked vehicles for operations being led by a detective. Detectives will utilize unmarked vehicles with emergency lights and other police equipment when they're attempted to blend in and will not comprise the security. Detectives may intervene in criminal uh, activity that is actively unfolding in front of them. Um, <clears throat> God, I gotta go through all this, brother. Oh my God, the whole SOP is <laughs> There's no way! Undercover vehicle guidelines. Operated, operators will utilize undercover vehicles without emergency lights when they must attain their identity, maintain their identity to protect their security and their investigation integrity. Detectives will notify member of patrol command they will be going undercover. Detectives will notify dispatch they are operating undercover. Undercover detectives will notify a marked patrol officer who shall be ready to respond to the event of urgent need or distress. Detectives who aren't confident in going undercover, i.e. no prior experience, should not go undercover without talking to a detective supervisor plus. <clears throat> detectives may be required to conduct surveillance intelligence collection fugitive apprehension crime suppression and or other activities that require them to wear non-standard uniform the following standards apply to undercover and plain clothes operations uniforms for undercover and plain clothes operations conceal as much of the identity of the detective as possible the clothing worn should match the situation Plain clothes detectives should typically display their badge, belt, or lanyard, but are authorized to hide their badge as the situation dictates, only showing it upon identifying themselves. The officer shall have a vest ready to put on the event of operation escalates into a shootout. <clears throat> Unmarked CBPI sources and scouts. Unmarked clothing standards. Detectives are privileged with the authorization to wear a variety of plain clothes during the course of their duties. However, detectives <clears throat> will wear clothing that is commensurate. Commensurate with the duties and activities they are performing. The following standards apply. Detectives will wear business casual clothing for all routine daily activities. Detectives may wear patrol uniforms at their discretion. Yo, Sir Cheesy, thank you for the two over 10 months. Uh, detectives must wear and display a badge. Detectives may take off the display vest badge lanyard when they're in a vehicle, but need to be ready to display it when identifying as an officer. Detectives must carry a firearm. Business casual clothing must be accompanied by police. Oh my god. Oh man, I can't believe he sent the entire document. <clears throat> Um, case file, case statuses. Um, training. Behavior guidelines. Behavior guidelines here. Hold on. 
All MC investigators and any peers under the direct at during an investigation are expected to keep all intel information related, only shared to those necessary to enhance the made investigation. Um Civilian rapport is essential in the primary daily duties of an MC investigator and their team. Yo, Kevin, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. So they note that civilian rapport is essential in the primary daily duties of an investigator. Okay. MC investigator. Okay. Ah, this is insane. Okay. Um, well, Riker. Riker's involved in 